when I was on the other side of these trees here, I saw, it must have been a dozen squirrels in these, these trees. There's some that are further in. You can see them out here. The way, way out there. There were at least a dozen running around right out in the open on the trunks. But I didn't shoot at them because if I dropped them, they would have gone into this area, which is like chest high briar bushes. I wouldn't have been able to retrieve any of them. I'm seeing a lot of deer out here. When I walked into this area, there was a deer right in front of me. And then I'm, I'm sitting out a spot. Look at this. I tried to get my camera on. I can't get this camera going fast enough. Right, right there. I just um, wasn't even 20 feet of hawk lands right in the, in the tree right there. He didn't see me standing here. I tried to turn the camera around because it's facing me and I couldn't. And uh, when I finally got it turned around, he took off. So I didn't get a shot. And then I had two deer standing right over to my left. And <clears throat> I just sat still. They got within, jeez, I mean, I literally a stone's throw. And I reached into my pocket to get my camera, and I got the Velcro in there. And I pulled a tab on it, and I hear that Velcro rip. And they, like, screeched and <laughs> turned around and took off. I could have got a really cool uh, movie of that. So I'm not doing very good with the camera today, but I am seeing a lot of stuff out here. I've seen dozens of squirrels, but I'm not getting shots. Um, I'm seeing them for, you know, a few seconds, and then they're they're up in the trees. They're not staying still. They're not on the ground. They're rarely on the trunks, or if they are on the trunks, they're they're running, and I can't get a shot. It's just too fast and they're too far, um, especially with the, with the uh, 410. So uh, I'm seeing all kinds of squirrels here. They're they're everywhere, but I'm not getting shots. There's absolutely nobody hunting out here today. I'm amazed it's Saturday and there's no one here. So uh, I'm just going to move a little more. I think it's pretty much the end of feeding time, so I'm probably going to be heading back. I also have you know other things to do today. But uh, I did have some fun out here. Nothing in the bag, though. Sucks. I'm going to start going out to that other spot where I went yesterday after work. Maybe I can get some shots out there. Because I hate to go a whole week without uh, hunting down so you can see it for any of you guys who don't know I'm using the uh, the Henry 410 and uh, it has a brass stacker sling on it it's working great so far I'm really loving it I'm on my way out and I pass that same area and I'm seeing the squirrels running around the trees I took a whack at one of them dropped them I can't believe uh, the long range this 410 has, I'm, I'm absolutely amazed by it. I never thought I'd, it would reach out that far. So uh, I tried to go out and get it, but the, the prick, it's just solid pricker bushes, and I'm not going to get ripped to shreds to get one squirrel. So uh, I'll, I'll leave them there and let the predators eat them. I hunted this area. I gutted my squirrels out in the field, and I left the gut pile including, you know, the head and the fur and everything. And uh, I went this time and it's all gone. So I wonder what, what cleaned it up. I mean, there's not a trace of it left. Maybe coyotes? What else would eat the fur? Would take the fur. Interesting. Looking pretty darn good today. I'm, I'm really surprised. This is the best I've done. I'm wondering uh, if that disc fragment has moved off uh, the sciatic nerve. You know, um, I'm not getting any ache in my in my leg right now, and I've been walking for miles. So I should keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Maybe it'll stay that way. Uh, we got some Boy Scouts, a bunch of Boy Scouts here that are coming through, and th there's, there must be 10 trucks out here picking up garbage and tires, and they're doing a really nice job, and I thank them for it. In all the years I've hunted this area, I've never seen this happen before. There must be at least 10 trucks there, and they said they, they've been collecting tires. They have dozens of bags of garbage and a lot of kids. It's a Boy Scout troop, I guess, and uh, they're cleaning the area out. 
There's some right over to my right here. And they are uh, fixing the sign, the um, entrance to the WMA. Awesome. So thank you, Boy Scouts. That's a great job. Um, as I was getting into my car, a kid about maybe seven years old came up to me and asked me if, what kind of gun I was using. And I told him it was a, it was a 410 shotgun. And he says, is that the shells that I've been finding on the ground? And I said, are they small? And he says, well, I don't know. And I, so I showed him a 410. He says, no, nope, that's a bigger than that. So I, you know, we had a little talk with him about squirrel hunting. And I told him that I eat squirrels. And he said, you eat squirrels? And I said, yeah, they're really good. And they serve them in restaurants. And uh, so he learned something new today. So that, that, was, that was fun. Maybe we'll have another hunter. Because I don't think these kids are out there because they hunt. Matter of fact, the scout leaders didn't even know that it was hunting season right now. And they apologized for interrupting my hunt. And I said, no, no, don't worry, you know. Um, I, you're on the other end of the, uh, the woods, so it wasn't a problem at all. But uh, it's nice to see them out there, nice to talk to the kids.